Welcome global people, the culture guy with another culture moment. Today I was asked yet again, Christian, what is it you do? And then I'll tell them I'm a cultural trainer, cultural coach, whatever the context may be, I might phrase it a little different for them to connect with that. And the response I got from that person was, oh, so you're a soft skills trainer. It made me think because I've heard that before. Actually, I've heard that many times and it sort of has become almost like a shoe that I wear without really liking it. Soft skills, soft as compared to hard, I suppose. So obviously you may have heard of that term, soft skills. We've talked about hard skills and soft skills in business school maybe, or even in high school and college. There is a differentiator between what is a soft skill and a hard skill. And it made me wonder, the word soft, especially in a professional context, doesn't it also mean weak? To me, at least, that's the connotation that I get with the word soft. In our Western societies, soft is often correlated with something that's easily moldable, that's, e that's impressionable, that can easily be changed or isn't exactly what we want. A, a soft performance, a soft trend, a soft personality, whatever, however we use that word adjective or adverb soft in connection with something business related, it somehow always carries that connotation of that's not exactly what we want. We want hard, right? Hard skills. So does that mean that the quote unquote soft skills are the less important skills? Are the hard skills what we really need in order to be successful? Can you guess what I think? I think that's a bunch of nonsense. Whoever decided that the so-called soft skills are soft as in weak, when did you decide, when did people decide that being great communicators, being able to relate to other human beings, being able to relay a message in a way that it lands with our audience, being able to connect from one individual to another in order to complete a task or to reach a common goal. When did somebody or society or the workplace or I don't know who decide that this was soft? I want to challenge that. I really deny and reject that label that what we do in the cross-cultural world, in the communications training world, that this is by any stretch of the imagination soft. What would you do with your so-called hard skills, whether you're a lawyer, a doctor, a banker, a teacher, a engineer, a designer, a builder, a contractor, whatever you may do for work, whatever your purpose is in life, all of your quote unquote hard skills will earn you nothing like in zero if you don't have the so-called soft skills, if you don't know how to communicate, if you don't know how to connect with other people. So yes, this is a bit of a rant, but I'm sick and tired of being put in that basket of softness. Let's call it people skills. Let's call it human skills. Without the human skills, all of your hard skills are worth nothing. Human skills are the currency for success that you want to invest in. Let me hear your thoughts about that. The culture moment.